Good morning, it is Friday, July 26th. We've got, uh, got a big move day today. We're gonna move the hogs, the turkeys for sure, and probably the meat chickens. And then tomorrow we'll move the, we're gonna move the hens. It's a big move, big move day. Big move day. Natalie started on the turkeys already. I'm gonna go out and meet her. We're gonna get these turkeys moved, go get the hogs moved, come back, get these meat chickens moved. Tomorrow we'll do the, the hens and we got to go get hay tomorrow so uh jam-packed couple of days here wait we're going in the greenhouse nope not we're gonna water tomorrow come on come on Hi. now they're on fresh 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 long grass again ideally it's not ideal the way we do this it's okay we should be trimming. We should be down here trimming all of this. This should be on flat ground so that the fence doesn't ground out. Look, it's just one thing we're, we just, and for the sake of time, we, we just don't do. We just don't do it for the sake of time. It is what it is. Okay, so yes, these turkeys basically free range. The net and the house is for nighttime. Ideally, yes, we want to trim all this. We just look. We don't. We don't have time to do that, so we don't do it. Yes, baby. I got this is from my new corn picture. Okay, perfect. Cleaning the water. Good job, dude. Yeah, okay, that's full. Okay, so we just kind of got in the groove and we were just moving these pigs all along this way. But we started thinking, um, we're gonna harvest these pigs in about three months, which means we've probably got about 12-ish more moves. And we harvest way up there at the barn. So we need to get them from here all the way up there over the next 12 weeks. Um, so we're gonna flop them from here to here today, and then we'll just start caddy cornering all the way up to the barn over the next 12 moves. So that's what we've got in store today. This water system is working perfect. We've had it, Natalie's idea. I mean, these, these pigs, once they get big, they were too big, they were knocking this thing over, creating a, you know, a pond for them to, um, oh my gosh, why can't I think of the word? What do they do? Wallow. Wallow creating a pond so they were wallowing and they were doing that every single day. So we were out here filling this up every day, they'd knock it over and then they're out here wallowing in the water. So Natalie's idea, we've got this structure already. It's cattle panels on some two by six, two by six frame. We threw two cattle panels on here. It's not ideal. It's not ideal, look at this thing. It collapsed, it does what it needs to do. There's enough room in here for these pigs to get, number one, out of the weather if they need to get out of the weather, number two, shade from the sun um, and then we throw we utilize our old totes our feed totes for cover so natalie's idea with the water was we already had these cattle panels in here just bring this thing in here throw some bungees on it i am very surprised that these pigs have not chewed these things up yeah. they haven't it is what it is we're gonna roll with it um, the one thing i would do instead of running them parallel like this is you want to run them 
like this guy down and this guy up so that they cross over because these pigs will come up they're curious they nose this and they'll nose this thing up and then it'll flop up like that so you want to crisscross them so I'll, I'll do that real quick but other than that this thing works perfect this is where they were for a week today is friday we moved them here friday last week look what they did they devastated look at that patch of grass that is right where the that's the only patch of grass remaining that was right under the the house that was this side of the house so these pigs did an amazing job one week and now they're on this it looked like this last week i mean it was they're gonna do that here and we love it because in a year all the dormant seed that's been hidden underground for years and years and years is going to pop up. We're going to have amazing grass for our for our cattle to graze our cattle. Um, so that's the idea in rotationally grazing these animals. You can see what these hogs have done. I mean, these are the last few weeks. So next year, that thing's going to look amazing. All right, I got kids chasing chickens. We got meat birds all over the place. We're going to go do this next. Put it right here, yeah? What is that? Check this thing out. Yeah, it's like a glider. We got our moves done. We did the pigs, meat, chickens, and turkeys. Tomorrow we're gonna do those hens. And then we've gotta go get hay. We're picking up 150 bales tomorrow, I think. I did the math on it. Depending on how much they weigh, I think they're, uh, they're heavy, 60 pound bales. I think, I, got, I wrote it down, I figured it out. With our four, we've got four cows. Get us through the winter months. I think we're picking up around 150 tomorrow. That's always a big day. Just stacking and loading and unloading and stacking again. So we only wanted one, one move. We only wanted one move tomorrow, so we'll move the hens, milk the cow, and then go get that hay. Ugh. I just realized I left the hose on yesterday. I can see that I left it on, so. On Thursday mornings, I have meetings downtown, or in, it's in the DTC, actually. And uh, so I usually get up super early, come out, I usually feed the pigs, come out and milk the cow, take care of the cows, and then Natalie and the kiddos come out and do the rest. They'll come do the, all the birds. But I'm seeing I left this uh, hydrant on over here, which is okay. The hose is, it's got one of those fire hose connectors on it, so no big deal.
out with a white mark on its chest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, what else are we doing there? Appreciate you guys for coming along on our journey. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate the comments. We love we love feedback and comments. Look, we're all like I said, we're all trying to figure it out together. So um, any information I could give you, that's the point of these. And I would love any information or tips and tricks from you guys and comments. We're we're always open to it. So happy Friday. Have a great weekend. We'll uh, we'll catch you all next time.